Real quick, I'd like to give a massive shout out to all the homies on Patreon who chose to support the cult and help keep the lights on. If you want more information on how to support the channel and get your name up here at these fucking chads, check out the video description below. All right. First off, my voice is a little raspy because I think I'm getting sick. My bad. Anyway, Spellpin is only used on Illidari Council in the Black Temple. The Paladin boss Gathios has a chromatic aura that increases the magical resistance by 250, and it's up for roughly half the fight, which means for half the fight, you're doing significantly less DPS. To give you an idea of the damage difference, my Shadow Bolts go from doing four to 5,000 with 9k crits to doing about two to 3,000 with 5k crits. Those numbers obviously vary depending on many things, but this will give you an idea how much that magical resistance aura is hurting your damage. Now, a common thing to do is just switch to the mage ad during this and just pump into the mage. However, a more common strat is now to kite the mage around in one big ass circle, making it impossible for you to switch to the mage ad, making the spell pin option even better. Then you can just sit there and clap Gathios. If you guys for some reason are not kiting the mage, then you can swap to the mage and not wear spell pin. However, unless you're swapping to the mage on time with no immunity issues and no downtime, it's still better to use spell pin and pump Gathios. So now the next question is, how much spell pin do you wear? Thanks to the almighty and powerful Warlock Discord, your one-stop shop for anything Warlock related, including a lovely spreadsheet that you can find in the description that it was made by the legendary Luki. We've come up with the perfect number and that's 162. Now wait, before you lose your shit and unsub, it's not that hard to get it and you probably have a chunk of what you need sitting on some old gear. Not only that, but you don't need 162 spell pin. At this point, you just wear as much as you want while knowing that any more spell pin that you wear will help you do more damage. 162 is just the optimal sweet spot, but it's no big deal if you can't get it all. Also, while you're already thinking about it, yes, it's worth the spell power and stat trade since it's a minimal loss for a drastic gain for half the fight. In terms of where the number came from, you have 162 spell power plus 88 from Cursed Elements, equating in 250. You can get that off of gear and then 30 from an elixir. Of course, wearing the spell pin lowers your damage during the armor aura phase, however, only by 4 or 5% versus you increasing your damage on the magical resistance by 14 to 15%. So now you know why, let me show you the gears. There's so many ways to bring spell pin into your set, and I almost say you can't go wrong. Obviously, the goal here is to get as close to 162 spell pin as you can, and of course, still wearing your four set. This is the personally what I'm wearing, but if you don't have it, don't worry. And you can even get more optimal than this. Like you can use season three PVP offhand, which I have, but I'd rather not use since I have Zardoom. But you can run that season three offhand, you can run a, the new badge, and pretty much any old any old but good gear with sockets in it and slap a ton of spell power gems the spell power gems are relatively cheap as well which is very nice hate fairy mantle doubles up as super clutch since it's got spell pin on it as well as the two gems for spell pin but if you don't have that do not worry just put on t4 shoulders or t5 shoulders and you'll be good with the two spell pin gems in it the jc neck is a lovely one for spell pin cheap off the auction house and while you're there you can actually pick up a belt of blasting just so you can Put two spell pin gems in this as well. You get it. As long as you're wearing your four piece T6, you can mix and match whatever you want to get some spell pins in. And remember, any spell pin helps. So don't trip if you can't get that 162 mark. I started with like 180 at first and immediately felt a difference and it only got better when I got closer to 162. Anyway, guys, that's it for this one. Tomorrow I'll post a how to do more damage on council video. I just wanted this one first since this is a, it's a big factor in a parsing on council for warlocks. Much love and I hope you guys are killing it out there. Please hit the thumbs up on the way down to the comment section where you should comment if you've been using spell pen at all, or if this is your first time hearing about it, or do you fucking hate it? And of course, as always, I stream six days a week over on Twitch at twitch.tv slash Much love and happy pumping, bros.